right now, it's uh, going to be a very, very big hit. Yo, it's your boy Be Easy. Welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be the uh, the Chris Rock impersonation bit. I kind of added a little some some. I kind of used his uh, his bad apple uh, stand up, and I kind of add added something a little some extra uh, to the bit. So yeah, that, hope you enjoy and uh, just check it out. All right. Okay. Now speaking of bad apples, I know. I know I was talking about cops being bad apples, but check it out. We are experiencing one of the worst, the worst police brutalities on mankind here in the year of 2020. Just as bad as in 1992 with Rodney King and the LA riots. But there is something worse than a cop being a bad apple living in these times. Just for adding one who is living under a rock and doesn't know what's going on in the world. There is a thing called the coronavirus, aka COVID-19, aka the Rona. For those people who call it the Rona. And you you know who you are. You you know who you are. No, but seriously, this virus has killed millions, millions of people. So along with the police brutality, we have to deal with the coronavirus. And guess who we have to trust with our lives? And no, it's not the police. Matter of fact, sometimes we have to call the police on the police. But yep. I'm talking about the doctors and the nurses. So imagine if you had a few bad apples in the medical field today during these times of the COVID. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The amount of deaths would be catastrophic. The amount of deaths compared to now would be extremely, extremely disastrous. I mean, look, look, look. Can you imagine if a doctor or nurse was a racist and just had a bad day? No! That is not how America works. <laughs> no, no, that, that is not, that is not the way it should go. Now, here's another example. Imagine if the doctors told all the nurses to falsely inflate COVID numbers and put the patients on ventilators just so we can drive up their payments. Also, let's inflate the coronavirus death counts so we as a hospital can receive more money from the federal government for each patient that dies from the COVID-19. What? What are we doing? Now, now look, now, now, now look, look, look. If they are doing this secretly, imagine, just imagine, just imagine. Can you even imagine what they are doing behind closed doors? My goodness. Now, since we're on the subject of bad apple doctors, <laughs> we cannot say bad apple doctors without thinking of Michael Jackson, Dr. Conrad Murray. Now, now, Dr. Conrad Murray was a former cardiologist who was Michael Jackson's personal physician at the time of his death in 2009. Now, Dr. Conrad Murray was convicted of involuntary manslaughter for improperly administering the anesthetic drug that led to Michael's death. Now, in other words, he gave him just enough drugs just to kill him. Now, if that isn't the definition of a bad apple, I don't know what it is. I, I really don't. I, 
I really don't, I don't know. So my point is, if the cop with the knee on your neck doesn't kill you, or the doctors and nurses in the hospital doesn't kill you, just be thankful we have lived yet through another day without dealing with a bunch of bad apples. Thank you. Be blessed, be kind, and love one another. Peace. It's your boy, Be Easy. Yo, thanks for tuning in to my channel. That was my Chris Rock uh, impersonation. So, uh, anyway, I'll catch you later. It's your boy, Be Easy. Peace.